Well, I guess it's that time of year where everyone looks back on the 365 days that were another whole year. Done and dusted. Fuck me, that went fast. Too fast. A lot of weird, fucked up shit happened in the world. More deadly giant wave tsunamis could strike. Fled the fire with her daughter, thought they were going to die in their car. Once fertile swathes of farmland are now barren. The same went for my world. I had a great time doing it. And I won't forget a thing about it. I won't forget starting it off at Falls Festival with Jordan, Reese, Marcus, and the rest of the crew. Doing Mitch and I's biannual road trip where we went down south and visited some amazing parts of the country. <laughs> that means the road trip is done. <laughs> and then some downright weird places. Sketch. We're just not climbing it. We passed the pub and upstairs was just a shirtless guy. Front, just keep going! <laughs> Hitting up my favourite festival for another year with a bell to recruit. And seeing our mates play their first Fezzy set. Hockey Dad, the beach, darts. Just good times. Then I fell in love with a girl. But I was an idiot and let it go. We went out on school nights and definitely regretted it the next morning at work. We're going to a Halloween party in the middle of the week. Play some folks if we And a one, two, three. I saw Fallout Boy, which is weird because I didn't even think they still existed. I surfed a lot. And I mean, a lot. I rode dirt bikes and quads with my mates on Easter. Ah! Yeah, you know, mate, as well. Oh! That's the thing you need. Yeah. Then Mitch crashed the tire car and I tore ligaments in my arm. George and I explored the south coast and we found train bridges and beautiful views. We lived it up at Groove in the Moon. <laughs> Partied in the back of a van. Drank a lot of alcohol. I went to Terrigal more times than I can count. Went on adventures with the boys. Celebrated Mitch's 21st. <laughs> and gave one of the best speeches I've ever done. If I do say so myself. I wanted my son to have a good time, so I'm like, you take the bed, mate, in our studio apartment. <laughs> we hit the slopes and got Zach addicted to the power. Looking steezy on the chairlift. Fucking <laughs> I got to see my favourite artist Brock Anderson live, but I spent most of the time trying to survive. I lost my songs. George and I moved out of the bachelor pad. Very sad day. We quit our jobs. That was one of the most nerve wracking things I've ever done in my life. I sold my car. Rip. And we moved to Whistler, Canada. With no working visa, and just the cash we had, we got two mates, Skip and Debbie. We waited for the snow to come. This creek's like Gotney, that's our local. And haven't stopped falling since. Yahoo! I got my first bike Christmas and had dinner with my new family. Merry then we counted in from 10 and brought in 2019 like no other year before it. I had the time of my life at Splendor, but also got taught a big life lesson. I learned that your actions have consequences and repercussions. And people very close to you get hurt from them. I felt guilt. You say you forgive me. They forgave me. Right. And I'm grateful for that. I remember old friends. And the ones we've lost. But I made a whole lot of new friends and I became closer with the people that matter. I moved forward and I had a fucking blast. So thanks for the ride 2018. I won't forget a thing about it.